Hello everyone, I will talk about our work in Strut Edit, improving automatic masks for diffusion-based image editing with user instructions. Diffusion models are well known for generating high-quality content. For the prominent diffusion model, Stable Diffusion, given a text prompt as input, it can generate either realistic or artistic image. Diffusion models can not only generate new images, but also edit existing images. For one of the diffusion-based editing methods, Prompt to Prompt, it can edit and input image by manipulating the attention maps in the diffusion models. For example, it can change from photo of a cat riding on a bicycle to photo of a cat riding on a car. If we want to give more controllability to the editing, we can add masks into the editing pipelines. For this work, diff edit, it can automatically generate a mask by subtracting the differences of the diffusion noises. So for the same input image, you can either generate a mask for the fruits, or you can generate a mask for the bowl. So besides the input image, what's the user input for prompt to prompt and diff edit? On the left hand side, there is an input caption, which is a description of the input image. On the right hand side, there is an edited caption, which is the description for the edited image. For each editing case, user need to provide these two captions to describe the edit. But if there is any other way for the user to describe the edit, or if we just want to use a single instruction, change the bicycle to the car, because the instruction is more intuitive for users to provide. For this work, instruct pix to pix it can directly accept user instruction as input. For example, now the user input becomes swap sell flowers with roses or add fireworks to the sky. However, we identify some failure cases for the aforementioned methods for 5 grand scale editing applications. On the left hand side, instruct pix to pix is a mask-free method. Given an input image, if we want to change the orange cat to a tiger, instruct pix to pix fails to locate the region of the orange cat, instead it edits all the three cats and therefore produce an unrealistic image. Diff edit is a mask-based method. For the example on the right hand side, it can change the tie color to red. However, the result is not optimum as part of the tie is still black. Therefore, we propose our diffusion-based image editing framework in Strut Edit. In Strut Edit is an end-to-end fine grain scale editing workflow. It can directly accept user instruction as inputs rather than captions. Also, it has the same merits of the baseline methods, no training, no fine-tuning, only utilizing the pre-trained models. Instruct Edit is also a mask-based method in order to support fine grain scale editing. However, no manual mask is required for the user as input. The mask is automatically generated within the pipeline. For the baseline methods, they are either not mask-based or they only accept captions as input. For our method, we can generate mask automatically and we directly accept user instruction as input. This is our pipeline. Our pipeline has three components, a language processor, a segmenter, and an image editor. Even an input image and the user instruction as input, the language processor first parses the user instruction into the segmentation prompts and input captions and an edit caption. The segmenter then produces an image mask based on the segmentation prompt. In this example, the segmentation prompt is the cat. Then. The image editor accepts input captions, edited captions, and the mask as input to generate the final edited image. For the settings, we use ChatGPT as our language processor to understand the instructions. We optionally adopt Blipfoot 2 to help to assist the ChatGPT. For the segmenter, we adopt the project Grounded Segment Anything, which first output a bounding box and then output generate a mask inside the bundle box. For the image editor, we use stable diffusion as our backbone and combine it with the mask guided image generation pipeline in DefEdit. With these designs, our methods can outperform the baseline methods on the 5 grand scale editing cases. Our method can change only the orange cat to a tiger, and we can color the whole tie into red instead of part of it. Given this example, comparing the quality of the automatic mask in DefEdit, our method can generate a mask that precisely masks out the region of the corgi and then perform edits within the mask region. Diff edit instead has difficulty identifying mask region under different mask thresholds. Since mask quality is not high in diff edit, 
it cannot edit the image with high fidelity. Our methods can deal with challenging cases like editing one or multiple objects of the same category or edit one object when there are multiple objects of different categories. Our method can also support flexible user instruction as input. The instruction can be as simple as one word, smile, but our method also has some limitations. Since it directly adopts the pressure models, it also inherits the limitations of that. For example, the segmenter fails to correctly locate the objects sometimes, and also the image editor has difficulty to do the deformation. However, our pipeline can easily integrate the improvements of the pre-trained models. So for the future work, we seek to test our pipelines with different components to solve the failure cases. In conclusion, we propose a diffusion-based test-guided image editing framework that accepts user instruction as input. With our performed baseline methods in five grand scale editing applications, and we improve the mask quality over diff edit and thus improve the image quality. For more details, please refer to the code, paper, and the project website. Thank you very much.